in Storyline, when you're in Story View like we are here, you're seeing kind of a 10,000 foot view of your course. So you can see all the different slides and scenes that you created as part of your content. You also see these little lines and arrows that Storyline has created to show the relationship between them. And Storyline adds those automatically based on triggers that you've applied. So like in this slide right here, if we look over in the trigger panel, I've got a bunch of different triggers that allow the learner to jump to different parts of the course. And that's why it's showing up like this in Story View. This basically shows the various paths that a learner might take depending on their choices. Another thing about Story View is you'll see this little green flag up here in the upper left. And this is going to show the starting scene of your course. So that controls what your learners see first. And you can change that if you want. Like if I wanted this scene to be the starting scene instead, I could select it and then up on the Home tab, click set as starting scene and then storyline rearranges stuff according to my choice and if I change my mind you know I can always select the other one and go back to what it was before. Now if you want to you can add a new scene in story view there's a few different ways to do it but a real easy way is on the home tab you can click new scene and that's going to create a brand new scene with an empty slide in it and you can customize from there. Now what about adding slides? There are also a few ways to do that too, but one way is on the Home tab you can click New Slide, or on the Insert tab you can also click New Slide, and that's going to bring you this dialog. This is where you can choose the kind of slide that you want to insert. We've got a whole tutorial series called Inserting New Slides, and that'll take you through each of your options that you see here. So if you need a little bit of help on the choices, that's a great thing to search on in eLearning Heroes, Inserting New Slides. Now, as far as editing your slides, there are some things that you can do here in Story View, but if you need to change your actual slide content, what you'll want to do is double click on any slide thumbnail here, and that's going to take you to Normal View. This is where you can control everything about that slide. And then once you make your choices here, if you want to switch back to Story View, a few ways that you can do that, you can click on the Story View tab here in the upper left, or go to View and then hit Story View. Or my favorite way is down here below the slide layers pane you'll see some icons next to the zoom settings and you can click this first one the one with the little four boxes and that's going to jump you right back to story view again now speaking of the zoom that's available in story view too so this little slider right here is really handy this allows you to zoom in or out so you can see what exactly what you're looking for. You can also click on the percentage here if you want to select one of the percentage options or you can enter a custom percent if you like. A really easy way though to do the zoom is hold down your control key and then if you have a, a mouse with a scroll wheel you can scroll in or out to very quickly change the zoom setting. That's my favorite way to do it. It's really fast and easy. And then one more um, thing regarding the zoom. Down here in the very far lower right of your authoring interface is a button that allows you to fit the project to your current window and that just basically um, kind of resizes things and, and Storyline does its best to get everything within view if possible. Another way that you can achieve the same thing is on the view tab. You can choose fit to window. Now one thing that you might have noticed here in Story View is that some of my scenes look a little bit condensed like these two right here and that's just because um, I've used kind of a nice way to roll up the slides into you know a tidy little package like this. What you can do is click on this plus button to expand and that's going to show all the slides in that scene and then if you want to button it back up you can hit the minus button to condense them again. Just kind of a nice way to stay organized um, and you can toggle back and forth as much as you need. It's not going to affect anything in your published output. It just affects what it looks like here in Story View. So we mentioned that Normal View is really the best place to edit the content of your slides, but there are some things you can do here in Story View if it's more convenient. Um, one example is if you select a slide, you can come up to the Home tab and change the layout that's associated with it. You can also work with all of your triggers over here. Another cool thing is you can adjust all of your slide properties down here in this lower right pane, and you can do that for one slide or you can multi-select like I just did a shift click here to select two slides and I can select you know different properties for both at the same time that's a really nice time saver and then one more thing I want to show you is that it's really easy to change the names of your slides or scenes you just double click on the name of any scene or any slide and type whatever you want and those titles are what Storyline pulls into your player menu if you choose to include one so that makes it real easy to customize that but if you do decide later to make changes to the actual player menu itself directly in the player properties, you can do that if you prefer. So that's a little bit about some of the things that you can do in Story View in Articulate Storyline.